What's up guys? I just got to the airport here in Dallas. I'm heading to Boston for the weekend. All of the spine fellows that are starting in my program are going to this uh, course. This course is taught by spine surgeons. Well, we'll go over the anatomy, the uh, approaches to different um, spine surgeries. We'll go over different complications that can happen. Basically just laying out the um, groundwork and the foundation for the entire fellowship year. So. Most programs, the Spine Fellowship programs, will be uh, sending some uh, fellows to this course. And then, uh, yeah, we meet, have small group discussions, go over MRIs, go over x-rays, interact with the um, spine surgeons that are at the course. We'll go out to dinner one evening, this is two days this weekend. Looking forward to it, it should be a good course. See you in Boston. What's up guys, so I just got to here to the hotel room, it's about 9 p.m. It was about an hour drive from the airport. There was crazy traffic out here in Boston, but finally made it. My driver dropped me off. The course starts in the morning at 10 a.m., which we have to be outside and ready to catch the shuttle. And then we all, I think it's about 50 of us, taking the shuttle to the location where we'll be having the lectures and the cadaver lab. So, we'll see you in the morning. So I just got dressed. I am reviewing basically some lectures online. There's a company that has uh, lectures that are taught by spine surgeons and we can review them before the uh, course just to get an idea of what they're going to go over. And I recommend that for any class that you're going to go to in medical school, in college, just review your notes or the PowerPoints or the slides just to get an idea of what's going to be taught so you can actively listen and learn uh, during that time. So you guys go and uh, check out a couple seconds of this lecture here. Coagulate the, the epidural uh, vessels in that area so that it, it leads to a less bloody dissection or uh, less bloody discectomy. Sometimes your disc herniations, you have free and loose fragments of disc that you can just easily bite out with a pituitary. Sometimes you actually have to incise the disc space to get in there and get the loose material. All right, so I just got back from the lectures today and also the cadaver lab, had a great time, learned a lot. There were orthopedic residents there, like fourth years who were interested in going into spine because as residents, we apply during our fourth year of training and then we start fellowship after our fifth year. So you have to apply a year early. There were some neuro fellows. There was a person who just completed his neuro fellowship and he just come into this course at the back end to kind of just review things. There were some other neurosurgeon staff there that went over some surgical approaches, taught us in lectures. Then we went into the cadaver lab and then we just practiced different procedures and different surgeries of the spine. We did what's called a pedicle subtraction osteotomy, which is taking parts of the spine out, removing some bone and tissue so that you can correct the deformity of the spine. We also did some things like a uh, disectomy, which is when patient has a disc herniation, you go in and remove that disc as compressing the nerve and a lot of other kind of cool things in the lab today. This evening, we're going to a dinner at a restaurant here in Boston. They're taking us all out to eat, so I'll uh, get to uh, spend some time with the staff and other fellows. So, should be a good time. But we'll see you guys in the uh, morning.
What's up guys, it's about 6.30 a.m. I just woke up, we're about to head to the facility where we'll have additional lectures today as well as doing some more cadaver labs. Yesterday we focused on the thoracic spine and also the lumbar spine as well as the sacrum doing different procedures and learning different approaches and surgeries to those parts of the spine. And today we're focused more on the neck, how to do uh, surgery from the front of the neck, how to do surgery from the back of the neck, uh, different complications that it can arise, and uh, going over some different uh, surgical techniques. After the uh, cadaver labs and lectures today, we'll head back to the airport and then back, back to uh, Dallas. But uh, yeah, it's been a, a good weekend and we'll check in with you guys soon. Alright, so we just left the lab, we went over some uh, different approaches and surgeries to the neck, the front portion of the neck and also the back portion. We're about to go to lecture and then we'll come back to the spine to do some uh, approaches to the lower region of the spine. So. Alright, so our course is ended for the day, had a good time today. We learned a lot of um, dissections and surgeries through the neck and also through the abdomen. So there's different ways to approach the spine. You can go on the front of the spine, the back of the spine, or on the side. And then um, we had some lectures, cadaver lab work. Basically uh, did these approaches in the lab on cadavers to practice. So it was a good course. Uh, heading back to Dallas here in a, a few hours. Uh, thank you guys for hanging along this weekend. I hope you guys learned something. Make sure you subscribe. New videos coming every week. We'll see you next time.